Eight Fort Wayne police have arrested a man suspected of robbing an Arby's yesterday afternoon. Overnight reporter Rod Hissong has been looking into the man's past. He joins us now live in the newsroom with details. Hi, good morning, Alyssa. Five hours after an armed man robbed the Arby's on East Rudisil Boulevard, police arrested a suspect. 26-year-old Anthony S. Tate was apprehended during a traffic stop around 8 last night. Police were called to the RB shortly before 3 when a man with a gun went inside and demanded cash. The witnesses gave police a description that included details about the suspect having tattoos on his face. Officers with the FWPD Gang and Violent Crimes and Vice and Narcotics Units were able to figure out a suspect. They were able to locate a car used in the getaway. They staked out that car and eventually took down Tate without incident. Police told us Tate was still wearing a shirt he apparently had on during the robbery. They also found a handgun in a home where Tate was at. Now, Tate was convicted in 2012 of assisting a criminal. He was sentenced to eight years in prison and was paroled in January. That case stemmed from the 2011 murder of William Fett Jr., who was attacked with a hammer. Tate was originally charged with murder, but eventually reached a plea deal that had the murder charge dropped. He now faces a preliminary charge of armed robbery. Alyssa.